everyone, Joshua Hanlon here at Brick Slopes in Utah, and today we'll be taking a look at the great ball contraption layout that the builders have put together for us here. So if you guys want to introduce yourselves. Yeah, I'm Quentin Christensen. This is my son, Hunter. Okay. He's wearing the GBC coordinator badge today. <laughs> He's got the official title. He's got the official <laughs> title, yeah. Um, so this is a layout where you've got 25 with uh, one on the side that got relegated, unfortunately. Had That's such a cool looking module, it's too bad it's not in the loop. It is, one of the problems is that the, it's one of the banes, right, you've got a, a banes of GBC is you have to be able to get to the mechanism to fix it, and the mechanism is buried inside, and it's like a throne room. Um, it's cool, definitely take a look at it, um, but we just couldn't like figure it out in time for the show, but uh, so, I don't know, should I try to talk about which ones he's showing, or does yeah, it matter? Yeah, you can just kind of work your way around the loop. Okay, so we'll start with uh, my new one this year. I started with Lowry Georgia's Miniature Golf, which we had as the Brick Slopes 2020 kit. And uh, he was really great to work with and helping us with the instructions and everything. And Stephen Poulsen does our uh, boxes and the uh, instructions and stuff. So he had a really nice, like, first Brick Slopes thing, which is funny because we've probably never had more than 10 or 12 GBCs at a show, but they're like, they're producing more sets than we have on display. Like this year they sold 50 sets and we have 25 on display. And it's just because uh, Steve, who is part of, owns uh, Brick Slopes, really, he's like, whatever you need, I will help you have it. I will help it. He's like, I just like to see it. And so he provided all of the train regulators and the extension cords and everything to help us try to run it because nobody has that much to try to really make it all happen. But yeah, we started off, I did a little Calvin and Hobbes. It's the cover of the... Uh, uh, first Calvin and Hobbes comic book. And then the next one after it is our, um, the convention set for this year, 2021. And it's a, it looks like the uh, Brick Slopes trophy. So we called it the trophy stepper. And I think you actually passed by a trophy there too, the GBC trophy. So you can see where it came from. George Queen took Pinwheel's um, design for a single stepper, which is farther along down the line. And it extended it to a triple stepper have the trophy step up, and we had extended it off the side so it, it gives that profile of the trophy. Um, next we have the actual just regular kit from the show, which is Lowry's, uh, with the, has the bend. The, the next one after that what is a, uh, I showed it during the GBC like hour where people were building as, when we were first coming up with the design, we are like, well, how do we give it a, a look of like uh, Brick Slopes trophy and so one thing I was thinking of was like, oh, you just have the slopes going up. So this just shows you when you're prototyping, like what you use whatever colors you have, you use uh, and just like the design process. So I'm gonna switch over to Joe here. Joe has the next six modules. Hey, I'm Joe McShinsky, and one of the beautiful things that I love about GBC is that we can totally customize all of these modules that either come from a kit or the instructions that you can find online. Uh, it's really easy to get into GBC module. It's the maintenance afterwards that's the fun part. So while we're on that Batman one right there, I'm gonna point this mechanism right here is unique for these pushers just because that allows it to go in either direction, no matter which way that battery pack is pushed. So a lot of the times with GBCs, you have to say, it's gotta go one way or the other, and you can break a module if it goes the wrong way. Uh, so that mechanism, when I found that online, which is getting stuck right now, but ta-da! <laughs> it it uh, really uh, makes a world of difference when somebody else is running your module. So if you can do that, that's awesome. Uh, with the two square ones there, it's your standard smallest GBC that you can uh, make per the standard, but I've modified it to be a food truck. That white one is a food truck. So anything can be modified, especially like the one that's next to it, which is the Enterprise. So uh, at the convention here, I have quite a bit of Star Trek and I think we need a little bit more Star Trek representation. I think I'm one of the only Trekkies in my lug, but... Uh, <laughs> You're trying to start a trend. That's right. Let's let's make it happen. Where's my Trekkies out there? Pink one. I said, hey, I got a ton of pink. I don't know what to do with this pink. That is the perfect solution for all that pink. Uh, I know a lot of uh, AFOLs and whatnot have a lot of that sin to the side, but bring it out, make it happen. And then this one, next one, that's the Mac truck. That is actually from a Mac set, and I just took that from. I think it was like a six-wide truck originally to a 10 wide. And with all the components underneath of it, I probably doubled the part count to be able to make that, but anything can be modified. I love to see all the custom GBC that's available. Brad brought this one, but it's an Akiyuki one, I'm pretty sure. 
and it is a crowd favorite. It is a lot of fun. It looks like a couple balls are coming here, but it only the robots only spin when they catch a ball, which is just it, it boggles everyone's mind. They're like, how does that work? Um, and Brad was explaining to me because I haven't built this one myself, but that it if it doesn't get the the pressure of the ball pushing back on it, it doesn't engage the gear that spins it. Um, so that's something I would like to build this one for myself and see it. So as we round the corner, we're going to hit another convention one. And then uh, this, I think, is a Brick World one from, a, I don't know, maybe seven years ago. It's pretty reliable, except for it was we saw right at the start before we went to film. It had stopped all the balls. And I was like, oh, what's going on? And I just jostled it. And it was like an explosion. The balls went boom. Um, this one, this next one, uh, these are not mine, and I apologize to the creator because I forgot who it was, but they, uh, this one everyone likes because of just how the balls just, me you know, you can be mesmerized as they trade back and forth, back and forth. Uh, a couple years ago for Brick Slopes, I tried to build the Akiyuki train system, you know, where it, everything has, the, has these uh, springs, and it, uh, it'll, the train will run in, and it'll switch the gearing, and it'll push the spring in, and it'll run on timing, and that's what this next one is. It was part of that. This is the only thing that I keep on the table because it was too challenging. The, the, the batteries were burned out so fast. I had some problems with it, but I loved it, but I, I couldn't keep it going. Uh, next, we have one that uses the banana gears uh, and the scoop set up. And uh, I got a bunch of these one time on a draft or something. I was like, I got to use them. Uh, and so this is a fun one. This next one I built with Indiana Jones, my son wants to explain, if that's OK. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, go ahead so they can hear you. Pretty much my favorite one because I really like how he themed it. I think, I think I like how the gold's in the very middle, and how it, it can go through the middle or the two sideways. Unfortunately, it's not very that random because it's tilted, so it usually goes that way. But. So but, it's hard for it to go through the middle. Yeah, but, but I've seen a couple of them. And so eh, so it's pretty much the normal golfing one, which there's Gree of. And You've also got that great kind of arch with the, the vines and stuff on it there and that chrome gold piece up top. Yeah. The, the gold piece on that arch. What used to be what was, what is that statue now? Oh, yeah? <laughs> there you go. Thank you. It's a great looking module. <laughs> Thanks, Hunter. Yeah, and then next we have, this is one of my first ones that I built. Um, and people, I like it because it displays the, the movement really well. Sometimes people get confused or just don't know, like, how are things actually moving? And this one has the clearer pieces that, that give you a view into it. Um, some other ones, like the banana gear one, are really open, too. Um, and then we move on to a couple of different, uh, I think, Brick Worlds, uh, and, and some of them are just recolored versions of it. And then um, I guess I maybe I'm skipping too fast over some of these. But uh, one thing I tried to do is, like, GBC is going to build with any color almost. And so I did try to, I found I was like, oh, all mine are like red and blue. So I started, uh, I made a green one, I made a yellow one, uh, just to try to mix it up. And, I brought, so 15 of these are mine. We have 25 on the table. And I, I brought them just to help like us be able to turn the corners and, and do the loop. Uh, but my son who was just interviewed, we like to set these up at home and just run them. And we have a few more we didn't bring, but he just he just has fun, just like watching your guys' videos. He can do it for an hour. <laughs> uh, so it's a great use of time. Uh, the, the last two on the line are, I believe they're Lowry George's uh, card and lift ones. and. Um, I just was so fascinated with the movement. I always wanted to build one, and so when he came out with it, uh, I made multiple. Um, so that is our loop, and uh, I, I think this is our our biggest display. We've had displays as big as like eight uh, before now, but uh, we got a few more people to join this year. So we really appreciate you guys, your guys' time and, and showing off um, what my wife calls a great big commitment. Uh, <laughs> And it, it really is, um, it's so funny because we're like always blocking people's view. We're like, oh no, we got another one that's dead or, or spinning balls. But, um, but it's still, it's just fun. And, and I've had several people say that this is their favorite area because you can just sit and watch it and there's a lot to see. So thank Great. you.
For sure, yeah. You guys have all done great work here, and it doesn't matter how many times I see a, a GBC layout at a LEGO convention, I'm always impressed by the work and dedication that the GBC builders put in to, to not only setting it up, but keeping it going, building the modules, everything. It's so amazing, and I know the public appreciates it as well. So this year you did a uh, Great Ball Contraption workshop, right? So for people who are watching this video maybe want to get involved in GBC uh, in the future here at Brick Slopes, uh, what, what can they do to maybe get more involved? So, um, well, they could get in contact with me. I'm, uh, I'm trying to think how would people get in contact with me. Or probably through Brick Slopes first, because uh, I've been the GBC coordinator a couple times, uh, which has sometimes just been coordinating my stuff. But um, the uh, one way is if you come to the convention to get the convention kit, and that gives you a chance. Like we always make sure there's a motor and three balls, so you have a chance to get some and play with them at home. And um, you can one of the reasons why I got into GBC was that there are so many instructions that people put online and allow you to, to build their creations and it allows me, I like to theme them after I, I build them and uh, and so I think that's that's really where I would start is start with like a, a convention kit that you find online, build it, theme it or use that same mechanism in a different sort of design like Joe's like trucks and things whatever and um, and that's how you can kind of uh, get going a little farther if you want to participate um, yeah like contacting whatever wherever you're at whatever con is like contacting who's going to run it and learning about the rules we've been one of the reasons why we have a lot of struggles here is that I haven't really held anybody to any of the GBC rules oh no that doesn't sound good <laughs> well um, a lot of these are convention kits or things that already fit the rules but sometimes we we have ones that are made for different purposes and don't really and they cause you know balls to bounce out or whatever but I just want to, right now we're in this phase of really just trying to make it easy for people to participate. And maybe as we get better, we can say, like, maybe next show I'll be like, I got so tired of these three. We're done with them. They're out. Um, but, uh, yeah, just contacting somebody. There, uh, there are a lot of resources online for GBC because the community is great. I'm on a Discord group for it, and they, they literally know everything about GBC. They answer all the questions. Um, that's one of my favorite resources. And, uh, and the instructions that I, I told about. And then otherwise, like, I think if you meet up with somebody who likes to build, um, get a chance to like, have them walk you through their story or where they, where they got their start and, and how you can follow along. The, some of the challenges are getting enough balls to get started. I tell people if you really want to get on a layout and test your module to try to get a hold of 30 balls. And so sometimes it's just finding somebody who has 30 balls that you can borrow. Um, that's one of the reasons, so if you go and you look later at the castle, the problem, I think one of the reasons that one had a problem is he didn't have enough balls, it's a ball pump. He didn't have enough balls to pill, fill the pump to test it out. And so when we got here and tested it, it didn't quite uh, make the cut. Um, so yeah, getting enough, and, uh, and you can start with one module and just recycle the balls and let it run for a long time, and then eventually you can get to where you have like four. I once did a show where I think I had two or three, and just ran it the whole show, and they just like, circle just a little bit, but people still love that. So even just getting a couple gives you a chance to talk about it, learn about it. Uh, yeah, the sooner you can start experimenting with modules and figuring out how the system all works, the better. So yeah, even with all of those issues that you can run into, it's great that you guys still keep coming out here and, and the GBC is growing here at Brickslope. So we look forward to hopefully seeing it again in future years as you continue to expand. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for your time.